Zed Wild here, press subscribe for more botanic videos, ecology gardening videos and general gardening videos. We're over in Camp Ibex, down in the um, kind of, a, I better call it the jungle area now, because that's what it's turned into. We got all these tall miscanthus reeds that I put in, I don't know how many years ago, five years ago maybe, maybe more, four or five. And I just had a small clump and now they're obviously spread a lot, as you can see. We've also got Sasavici, lots of that around. It's a lower growing bamboo with green and white leaves in the winter. Here's the pond here, it's an old cattle drinking um, thing. And there's goldfish in there, there's one or two about now I've just seen. I need to cut back the willows again because they're, it's getting too shady in here. The fish probably don't want to be in too much shade. Um, and the water lilies will probably need more sunlight. We've got this lovely um, shrub here, Euonymus. It's a type of Euonymus with small, narrow leaves. I've forgotten which species it is. Then we've got a species of willow here, which I've been pollarding every once every year or two. And another type here, slightly different one which is getting shaded out too much by the miscanthus. It's not doing that well compared to this side. So the miscanthus needs to be controlled. And as you can see, there's ferns growing everywhere, wild ferns. We've got this Himalayan balsam, which the bees love. We're talking about ecology gardening. We've got uh, two types of a small leafed rhododendron here and down there an azalea, finish flowering. Out. I'll fight my way through all these ferns. I'm putting a lot more of these cuttings. Now, these are the ones from the other side, I think, or are they this side? I'm not sure. Should be able to tell the difference. My caravan up there, where I sleep sometimes. And then we got a nice pit of sporum here, growing. It's in a tub, but the tub is rooted now into the ground. So it's, I want to get the willows from above this to give it more of a give, give it more light. Then we've got Yoshania anseps bamboo. Plenty of that growing around, that's spreading. And, um, oh yeah, down here, don't know if I put that in, I don't remember putting in, there's a Grisselinia cutting. Seems to be doing all right down here, even though it's fairly shady. Here's my bag, my rucksack, I've just got here. We've got a lot more of this um, Sasavici bamboo here. There's the pond again from another angle and Grisselinia, which I've been doing lots of cuttings everywhere from this these particular plants. And we've got a Clematis Montana growing up this willow stump. And I haven't actually saw it flower, but it did flower, I just missed it. It's growing up along the willow stems. And there's enough light for it, because it doesn't need as much light as some Clematis is. And, um, oh yeah. And this is doing very well now. It's a blueberry. And it's higher than me now. You can see there's some blueberries forming. Another bamboo Yashania through there. And we've got our a Rundon area Japonica bamboo. Hear the wren. That's a wren, I think. And then these are willow, this is a very fast growing willow type here. Quite a few different varieties of willow here. Sorry, it's too bright to see. You can see it from that angle. That's a very fast growing one, which I put in a year or two ago as cuttings. I'm pleased with how well the blueberry's doing. Zed Wild, press subscribe for more botanic videos. Zed Wild over and out.